Canadian Steam Foundators Fundraising Gala Organizing Committee. We would like to welcome you all for attending tonight's annual fundraising gala. It's with my great pleasure to have Joanna Knight as our event co-chair. The objective of this fundraising gala is to raise funds to support our concert series and our youth outreach program. We also strive to reach out to our community with our passion in music development. It's the Canadian Symphony Letters mission to provide chamber music for everyone. This special evening showcases our professional group of musicians, our talented youth orchestra, and also provides our great supporters and patrons with a night of enjoyable music. The Canadian Symphony 2014 and 2015 concert season, including four concerts at the Grand Gold Studio, as well as three wine and cheese chamber concerts in partnership with Le Cement at the Heliconian Hall, and each concert feature orchestra members as well as prominent musicians and special guest artists performing various kinds of music. Many of you may already know that Canadian Symphony Letters is passionate about promoting youth outreach. Every year, we invite youth musicians to participate in our season concert through the Youth Mentorship Program. And since 2012, this program has expanded to include the Canadian Symphony Letters Youth Orchestra. Young musicians of all ages from all across the GTA are invited to join Youth Orchestra, where they attend regular rehearsals, participate in inspiring music classes, and of course, perform wonderful concerts for the community. Uh, throughout the past year, every member of the CSYO worked very hard and uh, contributed virtually to each performance. But we would like to acknowledge a handful of our excellent young musicians who we feel have been extremely role model in the uh, 2013 to 2014 season. If you hear your name, call up, please stand and wave to the audience so we know who you are, okay? We have chosen to uh, work three members who display a high level of our artist and skill with the outstanding member award. Uh, from the junior string, Doris Hua. Doris, yeah, on the, on the very back, okay? From the senior string section, Nathan Chow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 16th fundraising gala of the Canadian Sifaniato. It is an evening full of music and fun time. Furthermore, a good opportunity to know more about chamber music. Recent research shows that classical music improves creativity and clarity, heals the body faster, integrates both sides of the brain for more, sophist so for more efficient uh, learning. It is something about classical music that is special. They resonate within us and brings out the good inside us. We have a vision to close music to border and broaden our audience idea of what chamber music can be through creative programming and friendly, informative presentation. It is our mission of introducing chamber music for everyone. I would like to say thank you to our honorary guests, the coaches, our sponsors, all performance, help all performance under the great leadership of Master Lai and Joyce Lai. All volunteers and particularly for the support of all of you. It is a great pleasure for us to provide you with the music and dance in this evening. And it is all for you, my friend, and please do enjoy it. Thank you very much.
Mr. Lai provide you with great music, the sound of music. I bring your voice to the parliament. We are both in the business of voice and music. So today, it is a great honor for me to be here on behalf of the government of Canada, especially our Prime Minister. I was talking to the Prime Minister's wife in Vancouver about there is such a great concert going to be here tonight. And she asked me to send a special greeting to everyone attending the event. This is the Government of Canada acknowledging what Canadian Sinfonia has done for the community and for Canada.